Tonight, there is a desperate hunt for a serial attacker in Waltham. At least 10 men have been targeted in recent weeks and brutally beaten. Each time, the victim was hit with something like a pipe or a bat and never got a good look at the attacker. Tiffany Chan is in Waltham, where one victim is describing a truly terrifying assault. With each passing day, especially with no clear motive or suspect, residents here in Waltham are growing fearful. A victim of a brutal assault says he'll continue to feel unsafe until his attacker is arrested. Emerson Oroche Poss is grateful to be alive. I have seven stitches, but I have a broken bone on the top of my eyes. Showing us his black eye and broken nose. He's one of 10 men brutally beaten in Waltham since November 10th for no reason. Oroche Poss says he was walking home on Charles Street the night before Thanksgiving when he was hit in the face with a hard object. I get a hit in my left eye, on the top of my left eye, and I fell asleep. I fell down. He hit me one more time in the back of my head. Waltham police are trying to figure out why someone would do this, asking the public to identify the man in these surveillance videos in connection to these random attacks. There's a lot of extra people working. And there's, you know, they're all, they all want it solved. Other victims include a mailman and residents at the Garden Crest Apartments. The attacker appears to target men and strikes only at night when the victims are alone. They're males who are getting hit from behind. And, and typically they're on a cell phone. Waltham City Councilor Sean Durkee says he's setting up a public hearing with the mayor, police chief, and residents next Monday in hopes of making the neighborhood safer. And we're going to talk about public safety and quality of life issues. Oroche Paz says he'll feel uneasy until his attacker is arrested. We get together to catch him because this situation cannot keep going. Now, Waltham's mayor and police are urging residents to be vigilant, especially if they're walking around at night and if they're alone to put their phone down and their headphones out of their ears. In Waltham, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.